We're here with Scarlett right now. So the Santa Barbara Bird Sanctuary, they provide a home for birds from all over the world. Joining us this morning is their newest member, along with Sanctuary Director, Jamie McLeod. Thank you so much for being here this morning. So we were talking about all of your birds. They are all rescues. What they sorts are. of birds do you have? From the littlest cockatiel to the biggest macaw. Okay, and I had no idea that people, you were saying a lot of people actually get a macaw which is this bird right here, mm -hmm. hello, <laughs> saying hello to me. And then they live a very long life, so they end up not being able to take care of them. So tell me, tell me Scarlett's story. Well, Scarlett um, spent many years living with an elderly scientist. He was having a hard time taking care of his own needs, and he had quite a collection of animals. Okay. So when he decided he was no longer able to care for them, many of the animals were placed. Um, when we got her, we, as we do with most of our new ah. flock members, hi Scarlett, <laughs> she had a trip down to see our avian specialist veterinarian, okay. and she got a clean bill of health, but she's very, very thin. Okay. She actually has beautiful feathers, so you can't tell that by just looking no. at the bird. You were pointing uh -uh. that out earlier. Um, why do you think that is, and, and how, can, how can people help? Uh, well, um, when we, we, we take these birds in and people don't realize, again, that they live 80 years. They're attracted to them uh -huh. for their beauty, their intelligence, mm -hmm. their ability to talk. But the reality of living with them... They is are fascinating. They are, but it's like living with a two-year-old for 80 years. Okay. And it's not like having a dog or cat. It's a big commitment. So after a couple years, the novelty can wear off, okay. and they get shuffled to basements and garages. And that's terrible. It is. So that is heartbreaking. And you said Scarlett was kept indoors, but right now she's being exposed to sunshine she's and making she's new socializing friends. with other birds. She's outdoor in the sunlight, uh -huh. enjoying fresh air, baths, and sharing employees' lunches so we Under can fatten her up. Under the limelight here. Yes, <laughs> you're showing off your beautiful plumage. She is she's gorgeous. A People girl. can sponsor her. Yes, um, we. It costs a lot of money to feed them. It's not like we mm -hmm. open a bag of kibble. We How many birds up. do you guys have? We have about forty-five birds on the premises right now. Okay. They get organic produce that we chop. We um, prep they, twice a day. They get this big bowl of fruits and vegetables and okay. things that we cook for so them. So it's a lot. It's a it lot is. of natural food. They all, food you have to they give all them. have mm -hmm. aviaries outdoors so that they can get sunlight and fresh air and baths. For after all, <gasps> birds do come from outside. I don't know if she likes the camera, mm -hmm, or maybe mm -hmm. she likes it a lot. She wants to, yeah, she wants to give she, a little dance she for She knows us. she's a beauty. Scarlett, can you say hello? Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hello, pretty girl. <laughs> uh, hello. I think, I think she wants you to hold her. She wants to, me to pick her up. She's a good oh, girl. Oh, she's beautiful. So, how can people sponsor? Well, if you go to our website, which is sbbird.org, um, we do have a sponsor section where okay. people can, via PayPal, pay for part of her monthly cost, uh -huh. which is covering some of the food and the staff. Okay. And we always appreciate contributions. Because it's a tough nut to crack to keep them fed every month when you have 45 <laughs> beaks that want to get fed organic produce. Tough nut to crack. It no is. pun intended. <laughs> Scarlett's beautiful. Thank you so much for having her on our show well, today. She's really friendly. We, well, she's very <laughs> bonded to me, and she prefers women. And and um, let's see if she'll sit with you. Sit there. Yes. No. This can go bad. No, this she can loves go me. Very bad. You know, people don't understand <laughs> that when they bond She's with friendly. you, it's mm -hmm. like a mate bond. Yeah. So it's very hard. She for them. trusts you. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And we have a thing going on. And she's been on. through a lot. She has. Thank you for having us. We were the early birds Thank today. Thank you. <laughs> no pun intended again. No pun intended. <laughs> let's get a last check of weather. I think I heard the birds say weather, so I, I guess that means it's that time, right?